Hey you guys, it's Star. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. I hope you're having a good day or night whenever you are watching. So we are reporting from the stockpile because today's video is going to be a full stockpile tour. So since my last stockpile tour, I have made tons of updates and moves. I wanna show you guys how I've used my Cricut to add a little razzle dazzle out here. And I've definitely made some organizational updates. So I wanna show you guys how I'm currently keeping everything Thing organized. Before we get started with the video, I just want to answer a few frequently asked questions. So I think with every stockpile video, there's going to be certain questions that I always get. So the first question is, do you donate some of your items? And the answer is absolutely. The second question is, do you sell some of your items? And the answer is absolutely. And then the third question is, why do you feel the need to do this? Why do you keep a stockpile? And that's a very interesting question. But the long and short of it is, is I believe in preparedness. I think that stockpiles are a smart thing to do. I have been an extreme couponer since 2010. And since 2010, there have been several times when my stockpile has allowed our family to navigate financial challenges with grace. There was a time period some years back where my husband, who is a military veteran, he's a Marine, he did three tours in Iraq, where he was going through several challenges with his PTSD and he couldn't work. We went down to one income in the blink of an eye, and this stockpile helped my family keep things moving. Last year, you guys already know, if you're familiar with my own journey, I was laid off of my job in the pandemic. This stockpile was one of the things that helped us keep things moving. So when I tell you having a stockpile has proven to me to be a very smart thing to have, I mean it. And this stockpile not only supports my family, but it also supports my extended family. And since I am able to extreme coupon and amass a lot of these items, for 90% off or free 99, y'all know my favorite price, none of us have to pay full price. And I think that that is a smart thing to do, especially in a time of inflation. So I'm not gonna talk about that anymore, but I just wanted to answer those questions. Let's get started with the tour. So the way that my stockpile is organized and set up is it covers two walls, so two full walls of my garage. I share the garage with my husband and his Harley Davidson and all of his tools and all of that as well. But I have two walls that my stockpile covers. This wall is what I call my household section. So in this area, I like to keep all of the items that you use around the house. This is also my recording set. So this is where you guys see me film most often. And then on the other wall is my personal care section. So that is all of your personal care items, shampoo, shampoo, body wash, uh, toothpaste, all of that good stuff is on that wall. So we're going to get started today and I'm going to show you what's on the household side first. So this is my paper towel stash. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. I actually roll through paper towels quite frequently. So Things don't live in this little corner for very long. I actually keep that little pack of Sparkle Minis, though. I think I've had that for a long time because they don't make those anymore. So I just hold on to that pack. But everything else is pretty fast moving over here. And then if I was to lift up one of these, you'll see there's another row of paper towels that lives behind that first row. So getting started with the laundry area, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So I do have some overflow laundry items down here that did not make the cut as far as getting on a shelf. Um, I do have a lot of gain down here. I got that free all that we just got from Dollar General. I got some Arm & Hammer that I picked up I think last week from Walgreens. And then I have some OxyClean and some Snuggle which is my favorite fabric softener. I try to keep a good bit of gain even though it's really not my favorite detergent. Um, I don't use gain unless it's that gain in the back, that pink top. I do like that so I keep a few bottles of that for myself. That's the Hawaiian 
Aloha scent, I believe. But other than that, I just keep gain from my friends and my family because they do love gain, but it's a little strong for me. Now, the section I do get excited about is my Tide and Priscilla. So I do try to stay stocked up on these two detergents. I was super excited. If you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all saw me get these huge bottles of Priscilla for just $2. They're normally like $16 to $20. And then the Tide, I pretty much buy every single week because I do go through a lot of Tide. I love Tide. My mom loves Tide. So I try to stay stocked up on a lot of that. And then I keep it up here as well on this top row. And then coming over here, we have more of the overflow. And down on this bottom row, I keep my Clorox bleach, Lysol laundry sanitizer, OxyClean. My Tide Oxy lives down there. Here is fabric softeners, and then I also have more fabric softeners and scent boosters, which I love. I keep in this little corner over here. Over here, I keep my large Tide Pods and Gain Flings and my Priscilla Disc. Priscilla Disc are one of my favorite, and then um, some Downy Defy which I just re recently purchased from CVS. Um, you guys, if you watch my CVS videos, you saw when we got those on clearance. And then up here, I have some all that we got for free from Walmart, some free Purex, some Purex crystals, and then some more laundry pods are up here at the top as well. Starting from the bottom again, I have more laundry soap, but this soap is all of the free and clear scents, so that don't really have any perfumes or anything like that. And then over in this corner, I have some Swiffer uh, refills and some duster starter kits. On this row over here, I keep all of my um, dishwashing detergent, so I keep that rolled up. We go through that pretty quick, and then I also keep my dishwasher tabs in this section. Here is my hand soap, which mostly consists of just soft soap and the Dove hand soap, which I have fallen in love with. So I'm definitely trying to stay stocked up on that. I think I have a couple bottles of Safeguard in the back as well. And then above that, I have my little toilet cleaning section. So there are toilet cleaning gels, there are the drop-ins, and the fresh brush starter kits. I have the Swiffer Dust and Shine, which I love, and I think I'm a little bit low on. Some Scrubbing Bubbles is back there in the back, and then a row of Mrs. Myers Cleaners. And then we have our Mr. Clean Freak rolled up with the refills back there. Some more cleaners over here. There is a variety, just a different assortment. Um, I have some Lysol sprays and some Microban is hiding back there in the back. I'm pretty low on Lysol, actually. Um, and then these Lysol sprays right here, I try to stay stocked up on. We have some of the monofoil from CVS. CVS has been giving this away uh, for 99 cents every week, and I've just been picking it up. And then we have the Windex, which is a must. And then I also think I have some Brillo spray um, hiding back there as well, which I got, I think, for 19 cents at CVS. Coming over here, I have my um, dryer sheets. So these go back. They're stacked up on top of each other back here. I'll come over to the side so you can see what they look like from the sides. And then I have some pink stuff, some small bottles of Lysol, Pledge wipes, Pine Sol, big uh, multi-surface cleaners. I have the Carbana carpet cleaner, which I love. And then some more toilet and bathroom cleaners are stacked up over here with some soft scrub. And then up here on the very top row, I keep some kitchen items. So some spare snapware, um, some Rubbermaid glass, some mason jars that I couponed, um, some Ziploc bags, the trash bags live up here, Kleenex hand towels and Cottonelle flushable wipes, and also my Kleenex. And then coming over here, I have my Scott. I try to keep about eight packs of Scott, sometimes 10 stacked up back there, depending on how I can put them back there because that is what I use most of the time. So that is my little Scott stash up there. And then down here, I have some Glade candles. I have some Febreze small spaces and some Febreze uh, plug sets. We have some air wick kits that I keep stacked up over here and then some air freshener solids as well. 
This row houses my air freshener sprays and my carpet fresheners. So I keep all of the fabric refreshers over here and then the sprays over here. And then down on this level, I have more uh, Freshmatic refills. And then I also have some Freshmatic sets over here, the automatic sprayers. I think I have about three or four of those going back there. And then behind there, you might actually see some light bulbs. And then I also keep some um, Bath and Body Works candles out here. Um, these are mostly fall scents, which is why they are here. So I'll bring them out in a couple months. And then I have some Clorox wipes and some wet ones over here. And then I have these bins. These bins are actually pretty temporary. I'm gonna show you in just a second my plan for them. So in one of them, I have just like overflow um, air freshener products. The other ones, I have some razors that are overflow and I've already started offloading these. This is a good segue for me to show you the new additions that I've made in here. As y'all can see, I have made an exciting update. I got my first first pegboard you guys so quick story about this my friend Tawana tea time here on YouTube she had been telling me forever that I needed to get a pegboard and I was like mm, I don't know but I finally ordered one I just ordered a small one for am from Amazon I'll have it linked down below so you guys can see what I ordered I will also have a link to my shelves um, down below from Amazon as well in case you guys are interested in those but I ordered my first pegboard and I absolutely love it so I've actually ordered a couple more pegboards that are going to complete this wall so the pegboards will actually start at the door and come in over this is my deep freezer of course but they'll come in from the door here and that is where the rest of not only those air fresheners and that bin will go but also the rest of those razors so here's a close-up of the pegboard so that you can see everything that I have on it currently. Um, I actually ordered some longer hooks so that I could fit more on these. These are four inch hooks, but I ordered like some six inch um, and some eight inch hooks because I feel like I need a little bit more bandwidth for these pegs. But right now I have some lip balm, cough drops, and mostly razors and toothbrushes, which we always get up on here and I absolutely love it so far. Something else that I've added to this side of the sock pile that I have to show you guys, I am so excited about this, is this brand new sign. So I wanna give a special thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I was able to use my brand new Cricut Explore 3 to make my first ever Cricut creation, which was this sign. So I've always wanted a stockpile sign out here to make it look a little bit more official, a little razzle dazzle when my friends and family are shopping. And I was able to make this in a matter of minutes, being brand new to Cricut. It was so, so simple. So I'm gonna cut away. I'm gonna show you how I made this along with a couple other things that I'm using to stay organized out here. And then we will come back and I will show you the full wall and how this sign and my other organizational items look out here. When I unboxed my new Cricut, I was amazed at how fast I was able to set it up. I plugged it into the wall, plugged it into my computer. I downloaded the Cricut Design Space software. I watched one YouTube tutorial to learn the basics, and at that point, I was ready to jump in. The Cricut Design Space is extremely intuitive, so I was able to just feel my way around and and I searched through the fonts, I hit that text button, and I was able to create something that I loved for my sign. And then the smart vinyl was a major selling point for me as well, because it doesn't require a mat. I could load in the smart vinyl into my machine and start cutting my sign, and then transfer it to sticker paper and put it on whatever I wanted to put it on. And so this was such an easy first project. And although I went simple for my first project, there are so many different projects that I cannot wait to try with my Cricut Explore 3. This machine will accurately cut 100 different materials, including everything from vinyl to paper to glitter to cork to bonded fabric. There are so many different possibilities. And so I cannot wait, especially in the fall, to make different decor items. I wanna try out making clothing items and tote bags. 
You guys, there is so much in store with my new Cricut. I also decided to make some quick labels for some of the bins that I have in my stockpile. And I was able to print these labels out and attach them to my bins within a matter of minutes. With these labels, I use the removable Smart Vinyl. So I can actually remove these labels and change them out later if I decide to use these bins to store something else at a different time. But I simply attach the vinyl down to the transfer tape, attached it to my bins, peeled off the transfer tape, and voila, I repeated that with all of my different bins. And then I followed that same process to finish my sign that is now hanging out in my stockpile. So this has been such a fun experience. So now that I've shown you my new baby, let me finish showing you the household section and then we will get into this full personal care side. Now over here on this fifth shelf, I keep the rest of my toilet paper. So that's pretty self-explanatory. I just have that kind of stacked up. However, over here, I roll through that pretty quickly, of course. And then here is some different items that I keep for the kitchen. I try to keep these actually close to the door because I grab from these quite a bit. So I have some bowls, some paper plates, some um, cutlery, some more bags and things like that that I like to keep close by and then more toilet paper i have stacked up of course the infamous babu from cvs we have that over there as well and then coming in this corner i have some clearance gift wrap that i'll use at the holidays and then i have just some other random items i like to keep some hand sanitizer and air freshener right there um, a swiffer set and then these drawers i have like random travel size items in there so those are not organized too much um, but I will show you just an overview of how everything on this shelf looks okay so now I'm gonna step back so you guys can see the full wall so there's a door and then you guys can see the full household section when I back up so that you can get the the long view of it because you can't always see everything up close and then I'll just walk you through really quickly an overview of this wall So now we're done with the household side and we're turning around and we're getting into the personal care section. So I'm going to start off with the lotion. So out here I have the shave cream. I have that because it's next to the razors. Um, and then I have the lotion back here as well. We got Vaseline, Eucerin, Nivea, all of those brands that we coupon a lot. And then I have some Eucerin um, baby wash and shampoo right over here. And then on this shelf right here, I keep all of our mouth rinse. So here I have some Scope, some Colgate, um, some Listerine. We have Road Up back here. And then down on these two shelves, I have some feminine care products. And I always donate a lot from this section right here. So there's always a little bit of space um, on these shelves. It goes a little bit to the back, back there. And then up here, I have toothpaste. I could not be a couponer without a big amount of toothpaste, y'all. I give away so much toothpaste every single week and then just more toothpaste comes. So this is just my never ending stack of toothpaste. I get it every single week and I'll show you the top. I think that having a lot of toothpaste, you should never pay for toothpaste. It's just a part of being a couponer. And then this little shelf right here is my favorite stash besides my Tide and Brazil. Y'all know how I feel about the Dove. I'm always staying stocked up on Dove and Olay when I can because I love both of these. So these are all my favorite body washes um, and soaps. And I try to keep this shelf full as possible. And then down here I have different body washes. So I have some men's body wash and just some different like soft soap and Nivea and things like that and dial. And then this bottom row down here is where I keep most of my suave. And then I have a little dial overflow right there in that corner. 
On this shelf next to the body wash, we have some bar soaps. So I just stack up my bar soaps over here. And in this little bin right here, I keep all of my single bars so I can just quickly grab those. Um, but they're a little bit harder to stack. So I like to keep those in a bin. And then down here on this row up under, we have some children and baby products that I like to keep in case I'm going to like a baby shower or something like that. I can grab those. And these shelves down here, so on both of these, these are where I house my shampoo. I try not to keep a lot of shampoo. I try to donate that pretty quickly. We get so much of it couponing, but I keep a little bit of Dove, a little bit of Pantene, some l -Vive. I have some Tresemme down there. Um, and then this shelf right here is where I actually keep some of the things that I like to use. So I have my own personal toothpaste. I have fallen in love with this Colgate Renewal. So I try to get that a lot from um, CVS. And then I have the head and shoulders that my son uses. And then on this little shelf, I have some Nexus and I have some Pantene um, 3 Minute Miracles. And I also have some stylers, like some hairsprays and um, dry shampoo and things like that and then down there um, I think I've already reviewed that I have some more shampoo on the bottom of that shelf now let me take you over to this area because this area has also changed quite a bit since my last video so this time last year, I actually had this whole section covered in my Ray Dunn collection, but I have offloaded and given away my entire Ray Dunn collection that was out here. So I am able to keep some stockpile items out here now. And so I found these um, bins. These are actually pantry bins that I got from Walmart that I thought would be a great way to store my deodorant. And I absolutely love it so far. So here on this bottom shelf, I have women's stick deodorant. Here I have men's deodorant. My husband and son use more deodorant than me for sure. So they keep less out here. And then there's women's spray deodorant. And then there are makeup removing wipes that I use all the time. So I keep those up there at the top and try to keep a good stock. And then I also have these small bins out here. I got these little bins from like 25 cents at Walmart. Um, but they just hold little small items. So this is like Nexus and Shea Moisture packets. I have some facial scrubs and cleansers in that little bin. And then over here I have tons of cosmetics. And in that little bin back there, I actually keep like beauty tools and that sort of thing, um, like blenders and nail files and that sort of thing. And that little bin. And then I have the clear all wall. <laughs> is what I'll call that in that back corner when we get that money maker clear all from CVS. And then down on this second row, I have a bin with um, cotton products. So these are cotton balls, cotton rounds, Q-tips, that sort of thing. Here I have more like higher end facial care products. So the Olay Regenerous that I use, CeraVe. I have some Neutrogena facial care in there, some Almay primers that I like to keep separate outside of that bin. I'll keep in that little section, which is why I wanted a nice label for that. And then I have some medicine right here and some vitamins that we have all nicely labeled now. I am so excited about those labels. And here we have more feminine care products. We have more um, pads and liners and that sort of thing. And then in that little corner over here, I have some new items that are a little bit random, like Christmas items and things like that, 90% off clearance that I just kind of have tucked away for later. And then down on this shelf is really where all of the randomness lives. So starting at the bottom, I have feminine care that I need to donate. I have some more wipes like Clorox wipes, wet wipes, Bactive wipes. In those little bins right there, I have sponges and night lights and things like that, extension cords. Um, here I have some alcohol, hand sanitizer. This little bin right here is a lot of those freebies, those Hallmark freebies that we get from CVS. So it's like gift wrap. This actually came from clearance at Target. It was like 30 cents. Um, but these little bags and things like that, those live right there. And then, you know, I wouldn't be an extreme couponer if I did not have a display in my house. So this is a display of the um, Airwick Holiday and Glade and Febreze Holiday scents that I got from Dollar General. I made a um, YouTube video, I think, when I got these. 
And then I have more random items that I've collected, um, like that Axe gift set that was a quarter and these cheap um, giant Uno cards that I'll be giving away at Christmas. More Christmas items over there. All right, you guys, so here's a backup view of the personal care side of the stockpile. So y'all can see my new additions, my pack board, um, and my brand new sign and what that looks like from back here. So that is all you guys. That is my 2021 stockpile tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what was your favorite part of the stockpile. Thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you have not already. And as always, you guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye, you guys.